So if 13 nothing and getting swept by the the White Sox didn't break you. If being 24 and 38 didn't break you. If your park being empty doesn't break you. If getting booed on the field doesn't break you. If well hell, if managing one of the most mismanaged urban planning phases in history, District Detroit, doesn't break you. Maybe watching your GM, who you gave a Matt Millen extension to in the summer of 19, watching him light $47 million of your money on fire might break you. I just, it is never been more crystal clear in the history of this town that a general manager should be fired than today. And uh, again, Matt Millen was an easy call. Bob was Quinn yeah. was an easy call. Dumars at the end, easy call. Now, M- Millen, I think, this feels a lot like Millen, but we all were just saying, why is he coming back? Why is he still here? What has he done? Could a human being? Because at least with Joe Dumars, you can go back and say, at the time, well, they did win a title, you know, five years ago. Seriously, we're about to. I thought we had a practice rebuild for seven years. The real rebuild comes next year. No, it doesn't. And this is where I actually think the Tigers, basically, Chris Illich is old man Ford. That's really what we're looking at. You just have a buddy running the team, you just have a company man running the team. You're overly loyal. The losing doesn't even hurt anymore. And you just sit there. I mean, think about it. If Chris Illich had any pride, he would never he would never allow this. I've been talking about Al Avila being fired for the better part of four years. But for Chris Illich to literally take the field the other day in his house, his house, Comerica Park is his. And largely, this is his family's city. Okay, they've gotten rich off Detroit. I don't want to hear about how they are these unbelievable philanthropists. Okay, the bottom line is they've gotten rich off of us. And the city is bent over backwards to keep them happy. And LCA <laughs> is that, that whole Fox district? Oh, yeah. Right. And, and, and again, all the buildings they've owned for years and did nothing with because eventually they were going to build an arena when they got a bigger sweetheart deal. Well, right. they, they, okay. Yeah, I think Kenny pays more taxes. Right. Okay, so great. You're overlord of parking lots and buildings that do nothing. The point is, none of that broke him. He took that field and got booed by his customer base. Booed. A normal, well-adjusted human being, that hurts. That bothers them. That keeps you up at night. I don't care how much money you have. I've always said that it doesn't matter how much you have in this life. If people don't respect you, that should bother you. That should hurt That should make you question the way you've done things. I think I like how you put that. Respect you. Because people are not going to like you simply because of your last name. People are not going to like you because you're tall, you're short, you're black, you're white, whatever. You're Hispanic. But respect is different. You cannot like somebody. And respect them. But I still respect them. I hate Steph Curry. I respect him to infinity. Right. There's a difference. It is. So it's just, I want to hear from you, the people on this. I mean, literally, what is it going to take to move the needle with Chris Illich? I think we are at a point right now as a community, as a radio show, as a radio station, as a fan base, you've got to start asking yourself, if 24 and 38 in year seven of a rebuild doesn't move the needle, if operating the worst offense since black people were allowed to play the sport doesn't move the needle, being booed in your own living room doesn't move the needle, an empty park doesn't move the needle and letting your general manager soak 47 million of your money in kerosene and then light it on fire in the nude in front of you doesn't move the needle what will yeah because my answer will be nothing along with every person you've ever traded with goes on and gets better when they leave here correct And, and look here's the bottom line if chris cared enough which i don't believe he does if chris cared enough you could tap people within Major League Baseball to give you their, their opinion, their counsel, their advice. Not a single human being is going to say Alavila is doing a good job. And I'm telling you this fan graphs piece. 
And you can go read the entirety of it, but you can let us do the work for you. We're going to do the blitz around it. It paints a picture that money's not going to save you. What Al's done to this franchise is really, it's, it's Matt Millen. I want to know if you've come to that realization. I want to know if you have an answer for me. And this year could be the 0-16 year. It feels the equivalent. That way. I mean, just to put it into context, Rico's Atlanta Braves have won 14 games in a row. And in those 14 games, they've hit 35 home runs. The Tigers have 31 as a team all year. <laughs> if, wow. Okay. 